Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Toasty Gamer Boutique. We're here playing Merge Dragons, and this is Toasty Drops by Michelle's Camp. So today we're visiting Camp Moosh TGB, and let's check out what Michelle has got. Ooh, so here we've got Grim Trees. Looking good. I think you've got four of those level seven trees, and then you've got a bunch of these trees over here. So that might be a great Grim Chess Farm that you've going on, that you've got going on over here. Beautiful, and you can also get a bunch of necro uh, necromancer grass, which are great for your prism flowers. Uh, yeah, here you've got all your graves, and that's perfect right next to your grim trees. So there you can tap those graves, get a bunch of grim seeds, and I think that's what you've been doing. Perfect. So keep on doing that hard work there. Here I can see you have your trinity dome. That's the prism flower wonder. Great job. Ooh, here you've got your dry uh, dragonfire shroom forest. Those are the regular mushroom wonder. So that's a great job there. Those are hard to get. Uh, crushing it for sure. You get a bunch of awesome dragons from there. Here you've got the ensnared virtue. That's the grass wonder. Beautiful. Ooh, prism dragon. The Midas duck dragon. Doing great there. Ooh, here you've got some more prism flowers. Awesome looking good here so i was doing the math earlier i took a little sneak peek so i was doing the math earlier when it comes to getting two more trinity domes the prism flower of wonder so that would be making a five merge for the last level of the items you're actually about 39 percent of the way there if you do five merges and if you go for exact merges um, and make a five merge at the end, you're about 42% of the way to getting two more Trinity Domes. So you're actually doing a great job with your prism flowers here. Ooh, you've got some friend egg fragments over here, that skeleton dragon egg, ruby fire mystery egg that we get from the dragon trees, sunset tier two nest, Kayla's mystery bag there from uh, the daily trades. So that's looking awesome. And I did some other math as well before. Um, here I was checking out your magic mushrooms chain. So you've got these alien shrooms and the blue belly shrooms, part of the magic mushrooms. Well, in this chain, you're about 25% of the way if you make five merges all the way. And you're about 32% if you make it exact merges all the way to the end to have a final five merge to get two golden mushroom. So I was looking around, I didn't see any golden mushroom on your map here. So maybe I missed them, but that's definitely interesting. Now you're a little bit closer to getting the prism flower wonder if we do the math there, but they're both really interesting wonders to get. So here I could see you've got some alien shrooms and some blue belly shrooms. Uh, so if ever you're working on that, you definitely want to stay tuned because I'm going to have some interesting live streams coming out on the horizon. You know, we get those magic mushrooms from the bushes, you tap on them, you can harvest them, you can do a bunch of work to get these items here. And we're going to be seeing that pretty soon as well. A little further over here, you've got three level seven, the sun catcher of the Midas trees. So you're doing a great job collecting those Keep up the hard work. We know how valuable these are. You can get those golden apples and uh, merge those for golden coins. And they're super rare. So keep on your hard work there. That's a really good organization. I like that actually right over here. Ooh, nice. I never know what to put in this area here. Here, you started on your haunted houses. So you're doing a great job. Oh, there are those grim chests. Yeah. So here you've got an awesome graves grim tree area and then over here you got your haunted houses and your grim chest so you're doing really good working on all of those um the grim chest we can get the fresh graveyard which are like the seed of the haunted houses so keep up that hard work there speaking of those spooky things here um you have your great pumpkin that was one of the trophy rewards that we got from the uh halloween event that we had in merge dragons uh was it two weeks ago? Time goes by so fast. Uh, maybe four weeks ago. I think it was two weeks. Anywho, um, that spooky pumpkin or the great pumpkin there, when you tap that, it'll give you those bones so you can work on your life trees. So very smart positioning over here. Over here, you've got, I think that's a level 14 gossamer life tree. So you're crushing it there. 
the life flowers are in the life trees are definitely a hard chain to work on. So keep being patient, making those five merges there. Here I can see you're saving up those uh, life trees there. So you're doing great. Keep up the hard work. You've got tons of stone. These level nine ogre stone monolith here saved up. So you're crushing it with the stone. And then here in the top right corner, you've got an awesome array of dragon trees and glowing dragon trees. So these are super cool. Here, I think that's the arcane dragon tree. So you're getting closer to get, getting that dragon tree wonder. But that wonder is a little bit more... Um, there's higher levels in it, so it's a lot more exponentially difficult than the two wonders we saw earlier. The magic mushroom and the prism. So here... If ever you're working on your prism flowers with the pearlescent chest and merging those into spectral chests, then that's perfect to keep working on your dragon trees and getting more of those uh, glowing dragon trees, which you can harvest for dragon tree leaves. Um, and, uh, I mean, otherwise, you don't really need to focus there too much. Uh, you're doing a great job with these, and I love the setup that you have with these glowing trees here. It's beautiful. And it's really uh, nicely spread out, not to get any accidental merges. You know, that happens every now and then. So like the way you have these trees set up and then these glowing trees over here, very strategic. Uh, I love it. Um, all these trees, you know, there's no more than two grouped together on a certain island. So that really avoids ac accidental merges there. And that's a really really brilliant way of taking advantage of this top right corner that we have in our Merge Dragons camp. I love it. A little further along here, you've got two more wonders, the Trinity Dome, the Hill Wonder, and then here you've got the Ruins of the Sky Palace, the Bush Wonder. Great job there. Trinity, Trinity Dome is pretty tough to get, so great hard work there. And then if we come over here, you've got a watermelon tree and four pineapple trees. So those are great sources of coins that you have there. Here you have a couple of those autumn leaves there. Um, a bunch of people were asking me, where do we get the autumn leaves? And that comes from your friend gifts. So those, uh, I think that's the only way to get them to my knowledge. I mean, maybe the levels on the world map, but the only place I thought of was in your friend gifts every now and then you get those autumn leaves and you can merge those up beautiful Ooh, here you've got an awesome collection of fountains I think that's the level one uh the level two the level three there possibly uh, maybe I'm mistaken on those levels but you're doing a great job uh saving them up that's great for working on your fruit trees and you've got it very strategically lined up right next to your fruit trees over here so I love that, and this is a great source for all those seeds and fruit tree saplings, and uh, the fountains are super cool. So you're doing a great job of collecting these here, and I really love your setup that you have. Great source of coins over here. You've got some more fruit trees down here, perfect for working on your life flowers. Very, very strategic there. Here, you've got your Stonehenge Wonder. That's awesome. This is great for getting uh, rock dragon eggs and for being able to harvest that level five stone. Um, you know, clearly crushing it there and you're able to get graves uh, when the zomblins teleport through your camp. You can destroy those zomblins to get those graves there, as you most likely know with your beautiful collection of graves that you have over here. Um, maybe you're working on another Stonehenge. Um... You know, that's great there. You can always work on the Stonehenge, you, uh, taking advantage of the golden chest. That'll give you a bunch of those uh, living stones there. But from what I see here, you've already got an awesome stone reserve. So you don't necessarily need another Stonehenge. It looks like you're just uh, doing just fine with what you have. And speaking of, here you've got a gold star, gold gem, looking great. I can see you're harvesting those stars on the world map level. You've got a golden duck egg here, the golem tier 2 egg. Uh, here, cosmos dragon egg, the cool dragon egg. Here you've got the river dragon. That's a tier 2 nest. Rock on, girl. That's awesome. I think those are the sapphire, uh, the tier 2 of the crimson. Here you got the jester dragon. I love that prism dragon over there flying through. Cat dragon egg here. There's that bunny dragon flying through there. Fairy dragon. The gargoyle dragon. That's the tier two 
of, or that's the beast dragon here, the tier two uh, of the gargoyle. And then there you've got a nest of citrus dragon eggs. So um, you are crushing it in the dragons for sure. Here we've got the, I think it's sunset dragon there. That's the tier two of the grass. So if I am not mistaken, you've got about 13,972 dragon power. Well, that means you're literally 28 dragon power away from unlocking the evil fog in the top left corner. Uh, I'm pretty sure you need 14,000 dragon power to unlock this. So just by tapping on the nest that you have down here, you'll be able to uh, unlock this evil fog here and clear that land. So there you're super close. Um, here, the next evil fog that you're going to have to uh, unlock after that, it's 21,000k. So it gets a little bit pricier, but um, earlier I was mentioning something. So uh, make sure to stay tuned because I'm going to keep sharing more tips on how to get that exponential dragon power. Uh, let's go back to the bottom area. Where were we? Oh, here you've got your trophies from the events that we have, these out of world event maps. You're doing great with these trophies here. Awesome. That flashy camera there, you're saving that up for a merge, if I'm not mistaken, to try to get those trophy dragon eggs. I know it's tough. You don't always get them. Most of the time you get those life orbs and those um, young dragon trees. Uh, the green version of these glowing young dragon trees here. So keep up the hard work saving those up there. I know it's rare, but it's worth it. Um, here, if ever anybody doesn't know, those charms, these hearts over here, they come from this entwined passion tree. And uh, that, that came from the Hathor Hearts event or the Valentine's Day event. And these charms, you can tap those, it'll give you life orbs. If I'm not mistaken, those aren't a mergeable object. But uh, I'm scratching my head. I'm not 100% sure about that. Oh yeah, and I forgot, um, up here in the top left corner, once you unlock that evil fog, which like I said, you're just 28 um, dragon power away from doing so, you're gonna unlock in those spaces uh, a supreme demon gate to get some uh, Gaia statues there, or a uh, level two Gaia statue. There should be a mega nest vault, an umbrella shroom, a glowing chest, uh, I think it's a treasure chest, a wondrous life orb, and a Midas duck nest. So super cool there. I see you already have some Midas ducks. Uh, we saw that, yeah, right over here. So depending on how many ducks you have at the moment, maybe getting a couple more of those eggs might be really helpful in getting closer to unlocking that evil fog as well. So keep up the hard work. You're totally crushing it. Here you've got a bunch of trophies. So I know you're doing great in the events. Um, here, oh yeah, the Zen Towers. You've got six Zen Towers. That's awesome. You're doing a great job there. Um, these, you know, you can harvest those topsoil, which will either give us coin, a locked uh, dragon chest, or um, uh, the higher levels will give us the level one hills. So you're doing great with that there. Now, a more, one, uh, more recent discovery, it's with the Zen temples. Once you get the highest level before the wonder, you have to merge it. So you're going to need, if ever you're looking to make the Zen temple wonder, and I know it's kind of one of those like crazy, really tough to get wonders. Um, but there, if ever, you're either going to need three of the highest level Zen temple to merge or five. So here you're you're really well stocked up, whether you want to make a three merge or a five merge. Um, of course, it's a big investment in gems, but you've got a great collection of these there. And um, it's perfect for working on your hills. Uh, if ever you're trying to get that Trinity Dome, the hill wonder over here, great source of tribal dragon eggs that come from there. That's a possibility. And uh, here in the center islands, I see you've got a great building uh you've done a great job building up the coin vaults the stone storage the dragon tree houses you've got the level eight which is the highest level of all of those so you're crushing it there three coin vaults awesome 
and you've got a couple of those uh, lower level dragon homes just to make sure you have a good rotation of dragons, that's perfect. That's just what you need for stamina. So doing a great job there. Here you have the Phoenix Guardian. Those are part of the uh, monster idols chains that we get from the Catrix. Great for getting Tanzanite uh, mystery eggs. And uh, those, usually I try to wait when I have a quest for those, but they're awesome. And you have three bunny topiaries, super cute there. Those, they'll increase your dragon power a little bit. And if you give them enough space to breathe, I don't know if you're necessarily working on your dragon trees at the moment, but if you give them enough space to breathe, these bunny topiaries are going to give you dragon tree leaves. They're super slow, but they eventually sprout some. And then here in the bottom left aisle, um, I see you're saving up your more precious dragon eggs. That's perfect. Here you've got uh, all the trophy dragon eggs, the jungle, Pegasus, that griffin owl, Zeus. Uh, you're doing a great job over here keeping your super eggs. That's awesome. Keep it up. And ooh, you've got a life dragon egg there, the tier two of the life dragon. That's awesome. Hey, so you're doing a really amazing job. Um, oh yeah, so I mentioned for dragon power earlier. So you're clearly, you've got that easy, no problem. Here, the next dragon power, it's gonna be 21K dragon power. So you need to get 7,000 double power. That's basically half of what you have now. So that's a big feat. But with the tier two, um, it, you know, the dragon power is exponential. So a couple different ways that you could acquire dragon power is by making uh, two more Trinity Dome or even one more Trinity Dome, depending on, you know, your merge style. And you're a little closer to the Trinity Dome wonder than you are to the magic mushroom wonder. But if ever you want to work on your magic mushrooms, a cool thing about that is harvesting the dragon trees first thing here you're gonna get those ruby fire mystery eggs so those super rare you can get some super cool dragons with those those are gonna be great for helping you work on your dragon power now so we've got ruby fire mystery eggs then you're working here you're working on getting the wood um, to build the bushes to get the golden mushroom there well with the bushes if you keep that rotation and you keep harvesting those dragon trees with that, you're going to be able to get at least a couple Ruins of the Sky Palace, um, which you have over here, this Bush Wonder. And those give you a bunch of Mystery Tanzanite Dragon Eggs. So, that could be a great source of extra Dragon Power there. Um, the Ruby Fire Mystery Eggs are much more rare than the Tanzanite uh, Mystery Eggs over here. But the whole sequence there is going to help you work on your dragon power in three different ways while aiming towards your goal of the golden mushroom. Um, you know, here you've got the grass wonder. That's another wonder. Um, you know, I have that bubble, but that is a wonder that can help you work on your living stones if ever you're going in that direction. So there you're going to be able, with the golden mushroom wonder, get a bunch of those golem dragon eggs. If ever you're looking to uh, make more of these tier two over here, um, that's going to be perfect for that. Uh, the golden mushrooms are really an awesome wonder because you can harvest them for uh, those hero mushrooms. You can also, also harvest them for the silver coins. And every now and then you get a pile of riches, which is like uh, those mounds of uh, coins, which you can tap to get a bunch of various coins there. So you're doing great here. Keep up all that hard work and uh, hope you enjoyed this Toasty Drops by. Thanks so much for letting me visit your camp, Michelle. Hope you've had a blast and uh, make sure to keep it toasty. See you soon. Peace.